and you mirror this game. I'm going to show you all a beginner guide on how to play Ymir. This video is going to cover more of how to use his abilities, not an advanced build. So if you've been playing this game for a while and you're pretty uh, advanced at the game, this might not be for you. But if you're just looking how to play Ymir, then you're in the right place. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see, they also have Ymir, so we're going to have like a little mirror match. See, that might be kind of cool for y'all guys to kind of see him on both ends. Alright, his second ability does a, a ground stomp and hits everything in that area. Uh, after that, it also slows them by 35% for 4 seconds. I'll save my other abilities until we get the lane here. Oh, sorry. That was, uh, looking away. Alright. So my passive, if you apply your any of your abilities to them, you'll do 100% increased damage, uh, as well as decrease their damage, your, t your damage taken by 10%. So a passive can really help you do a lot of damage to the enemies. So after you land your freeze, which is your third ability, and then your second, usually right after, that's the combo you want to do. It. I'll show you. My dude, you mean he freezes me back? All right, you want to freeze? See how he did a second? You want to freeze and then do your second? Almost always, especially if you're a beginner. It's not the combo you have to follow, but if you're a beginner, that's definitely gonna make it a lot easier. And another neat trick: your one is like a wall. This is gonna be most beneficial usually in the jungle. You can block off an entire section. Out in the open, it's a little harder, but you can still place it behind them like this. Sometimes they won't see it, they'll back up into it and you can catch up to them. I'm actually going to back up because my team actually didn't follow me. And I'm explaining this video. You can also use it to get away. Kind of. <laughs> They're still all three on me. <laughs> God. <it. laughs> Alright. Well, I'll try to show you how that ability worked. I didn't realize my teammates had walked to take the, uh, the camp, so that's my fault. But as you saw, uh, that wall can also be a good getaway if you can get it off in time. Walk back to lane. This is a Guardian, so if you're looking for a high damage class, the Guardians usually aren't the classes you want to play. They are a support role. Right, we're about two minutes in, so this camp right here popped up, so... My teammate's holding him over here, so I'm gonna try to come help. Ooh, actually couldn't get there in time. Also, if you need to play a new mirror, I'd probably recommend upgrading his two first. It's gonna give you the most damage. Uh, if you want, you could also upgrade his three because it will increase his time under crowd control. So it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking to play Ymir as a full support, then upgrading this 3 would be best. Because you're going to stun them a lot longer. Like right now, it only stuns for 1.25 seconds. If you get to max level, it adds a whole extra second of stun time. Which is huge. <laughs> or walks up there first and get frozen by whichever you mean. <laughs> Dashed away just in time.
That's basically how all visibilities work though. Like I said, his passive is going to give you damage reduction uh, and increase your damage when your 2, 3, or ult hits him and applies Frostbite. His first ability, the wall, it will last longer if you level it up. Uh, but I don't recommend usually leveling it up first. Like as you can see right now, it's 2 second lifetime. At max level, it'll go up to 6 seconds. As you see, they're about to come over here. You can block them with a wall. They can't get over for a second. Little stuff like that can help you. I mean, they weren't coming that time, but if they were to come, you could throw a wall up, keep them out for an extra two seconds. Later game, they'd like to be up to six seconds. That's his ult. So his ult will do a lot of damage. If you apply Frostbite and then do it, you do double damage. So you want to try to hit him with some other ability before you ult. Usually you freeze. You saw I froze him and I put the wall right behind him so he couldn't just walk away really easy once he gets out of the freeze. And then I started the ult. You also don't want to insta cast the ult. You want to try to charge it as long as possible. If you don't charge it all the way, it does less damage. If you can charge it to the full and then hit them, it'll do the most damage. Sometimes if they're about to walk out, you just want to go ahead and proc it because you're not going to be able to finish it. But if you know you have time to finish the whole ability and they're not getting out, then you can proc the whole thing to do more damage. Armor I get this, so I'll go and snag it. Your middle tower is under attack. Got him, but didn't quite kill him. Look, see, now they can't follow. Ha ha, I got him. Stopped him good. He still kind of almost came through. Right, he got away, though. We're good. God dang it. He got me first. Alright, I'm a little geek. I'm gonna go ahead and back up real quick. Yeah, they get damaged this time. I couldn't help. I was about half dead and they're all full, so it would have been kind of hard for me to contest that one, but got it a couple times. Yeah. Alright, she got him, so I didn't have to finish him with my ult. So I believe, yes, it applies a slow, so when they're in it, they're slowed by 40%. Uh, so that, that can be huge. Like, still, she can land her ult a lot easier, because how slow they are, they can't kind of walk out of her range of uh, the hit. 
quite as easy. Ah, I was gonna get it on me so he could attack it, but kind of backed out anyway. Push it too short. Got that behind him. I'm a little creep up on him and finish him. Actually, I'm gonna stay. I need 300 more gold to get my next item. I'm not, not missing much health. As you can see, they popped an Aegis. I had to wait until his Aegis got out, and then we got them. Uh, you don't want to proc that ult if they're Aegising. They can't dash away or anything. They could walk out, but you're not going to hit them anyway if the Aegis is procced. They're immune. pretty tanky now uh might go ahead and go into one damage item here soon potentially go ahead and get blink too oh, all right actually always getting wards oh, i ain't making that lane Let's see if i can clear this camp on my own Hey, that's all I do. <laughs> uh oh. It's a lot better once that two gets up. Of those two wards over there. Now, if we try to get Demon the right lane, we can see him coming from the jungle there. Damn it, his Aegis lasted the entire duration. Teammate still finished him though. Ooh, he ulted right as I would have frozen. Got out of my crowd control. Broke my ankle, look at that. Sorry, I hit him with the slow. Not really gonna ult, I don't think, but. Enough mana for my two. Fuck 
Got him! <laughs> That's how he uses the wall. <laughs> you really want to trap them, they can't get away. Dang, this is already back up. Got it on me for a second, then I get into the total link. Oh, I ran out of mana. Oh, he walled me. I'm actually going to fury to get out. You can look down. As long as you're not slowed, you can throw it up without looking behind you. As well, that can be huge. It's a lot slower to turn around, place it, and then try to keep running. Uh, I think we only have, what... 30% cooldown. We're gonna get one more cooldown item. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get Spirit Robe. Once again, I want the crowd control reduction. As well as the cooldown. Power supply is operational and ready for combat. On my way. Oh, dang it. He's so that was fast. Can't leave Blink away that quickly. Really just wanted to get an extra stack on my Prophet Could Cloak. I only got 16. And hitting him as a physical is definitely the hardest. <laughs> Damn it, man. I can't get to <laughs> I got two more at least. Yeah, pretty sure we win here. Oh, I actually ran out of mana again. I really should have bought mana pots or something. I mean, I should get something to give me MP5. Yeah, that's what I meant to get instead of the Century Award. Which, I'm going to go ahead and place a ward here. Century Award here, open up my spot. Get Spirit Rogue, then get some mana pots. Alright, that should be good enough. She's got damage, so I'm actually going to try to take mana. Here in 10 seconds. Should really help. Ah, it's already back. Too slow. I don't know, blink for ten seconds. I'm gonna blink in in one second when I get my freeze. I die here, but...
was hoping we'd, I might be able to finish him and then we get the dub. Yeah, this game. Ah, right, everyone. As a support, don't be afraid to like kind of die in team settings as long as you're winning the fights. Because uh, your damage dealers are going to be doing everything after you're dead anyway. I mean, they should. They're kind of just spam laughing right now. But, uh, but yeah, this is a decent build on your mirror right here. Uh, I have max cooldown. I uh, only got one power item. If you want something else, you could sell this starter item and go some other power item. Uh, unless you need more defense. But if you need another power item, you can always go uh, polynomical. Uh, the procs off that would be kind of nice, even though you don't have a lot of power. Or raw to hootie. Always gives you a lot of power. And then see MP5 that it would offer, which I was having problems with. So, if you like this guide, um, you know, let me know. Give me a like and thumbs up. If there's anything else you'd like to see, just let me know and I can make a video over that shortly. Uh, if not, uh, I'll see you guys next time.